floating and sinking. Some objects float, some sink. Some float so low that they look like they are sinking. Anything that is light will float in water, whether it is big or small. Look, these are three different balls. The cricket ball sinks. The plastic ball of the same size floats. And the football, which is much bigger in size, also floats. Do you know why? Because anything that is filled with air will float. Air makes things lighter. Water pushes lightweight things up. It has a very strong upward push. Let's do some activities to understand it in a better way. 1. Take an empty plastic bottle with its lid tightly screwed and push it in a trough of water. Then quickly move your hand away. What happened and why? The bottle in the trough of water will float as it contains only air, which is lighter than water. Now, repeat the activity, filling the bottle first with mud, then sand and then water. The bottle, when filled with mud, sand or water, will sink in the trough of water due to their weight. 2. Put two marbles in the empty bottle and push it in the trough of water. Add four marbles. Slowly increase the number of marbles. What did you observe? The bottle in the trough keeps sinking more and more as we keep adding the marbles as its weight will go on increasing. Whether an object floats or sinks depends on its density, that is, how heavy it is for its size. If it is heavy for its size, it has high density. If it is light for its size, it has low density. Let us try to understand this by the following activity. Roll a lump of plasticine into a tight ball and put it in a tub of water. It will sink. Now, flatten it into the shape of a plate or deep bowl. It will float in the water. When the plasticine was rolled into a tight ball, its density was very high and hence it sank. But when the same amount of plasticine was flattened into a plate, its size increased but its weight remained the same, reducing its density. Hence, it floated in the water.